Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and we're here today with the first edition of a new video series we're doing here on the site, and we're calling this series Commander Clash. So Commander Clash is a four-player commander game, played by myself, Richard, who runs MTG Goldfish, then we have Tomer, who's kind of the commander guy on the site, writes the budget commander articles and some other stuff. And then we have Jake Stiles, who mostly writes about Limited and does some uh, other stuff as well. So it should be an interesting series. Moving forward, Tomer is kind of going to be the point man in the series, and it's his voice you will probably hear most. But for the first couple, I am going to be kind of doing the introductions and the outros and the editing and so on. So, But in the long run, this is kind of going to be Tomer's baby, more or less. And it should be an interesting series because Tomer and Jake are very versed in Commander. Tomer, it's like what he does is <laughs> the Commander articles. Jake also plays Commander. On the other hand, Richard and I do not play Commander. I have played Commander a very little bit way in the past, and I'm not sure if Richard has ever played Commander. So it will be neat to see how this goes as <laughs> we will kind of be learning the format as we go along. And anyway, typically we will all be doing a little introduction of our decks, but for this week I'm going to do the introduction. So basically what we have going on this week is Tomer will be playing Edric Spymaster of Trust. So Edric is a legendary creature, Elf Rogue. It is one, a green and a blue, and it has an ability where whenever a creature deals combat damage, to one of your opponents, its controller may draw a card, and it's a 2-2. So this deck is mostly a little creature deck that looks to play a bunch of cheap creatures and then draw a bunch of cards with Edric, <laughs> and hopefully use that card advantage to overwhelm the opponent. Uh, then we have me, and I am playing Glissa the Traitor, and Glissa is a legendary zombie elf it's one black and two green for a 3-3, three, three, has first strike and death touch, so it's amazing blocker, and it has an ability where whenever a creature an opponent controls is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, I can return an artifact from my graveyard to the hand. And this is sort of a voltron -y version of Glissa, where we're looking to put a bunch of equipments on Glissa and get in a bunch of commander damage. So it'll be fun to see how that turns out. Then we have Richard, who is playing Omnath, Locust of Rage. So Omnath, huge creature, three, two red and two green for a 5-5 five, five legendary elemental. And it has landfall, so whenever a land enters the battlefield under Richard's control, he will get to put a 5-5 five, five red and green elemental creature token on the battlefield. And whenever Omnath, Locust of Rage, or another elemental dies, you can lightning bolt something, do three damage to a creature or player. So Richard's deck is mostly a ramp deck looking to get a bunch of lands on the battlefield, play as Omnath, and then play a bunch more lands to make a bunch of elementals and win that way. And finally we have Jake who is playing Send Triplets. Send Triplets, pretty interesting card. It's two, a white, a blue, and a black, so Esper colors. It's a 3-3 legendary artifact creature, human wizard, and at the beginning of Jake's upkeep, he can choose an opponent and this turn, that player can't play spells or activated abilities, and that player plays with his or her hand revealed, and Jake can play cards from that player's hand this turn. So his deck is kind of built around stealing its opponent's stuff, as Send Triplets suggests. So anyway, that's what we're playing this week. Make sure, as I said, to leave any comments or suggestions regarding the series in the comments so we can use them in future weeks. And I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's get to the game. I'm going to mull this one, because I do have a blue source this time, but I don't have any green sources. And I think having both is very important in your opening hand. So, mulligan. Uh, I will keep my second seven. My six is acceptable, though not exciting, so I'm going to keep it. Yeah, same here. It's acceptable. Ooh. Actually, I don't want this right now. <laughs> Interesting card. Oh, you get the scry. Yeah. The payoff. Alright, playing a dual land tapped and passing. It's a snow land. It is oh it is a snow land. I have no use for it. It's just a it's a it's another guild gate, basically. I get to have an explosive early play. Behold the mighty one one cloud sprite. Very nice. Isn't that uh, the creature that has another creature that makes token cloud sprites? I feel like. Ah. Uh... 
Uh, it might be my memory. I don't think me. so. There's like this two or three drop blue creature that you, you pay a blue mana, you discard a card, and you make a copy of it, but it's an existing magic card. It's kind of neat. Um, I have like... an Azorius Signet, and I am passing the turn. Alright, some sweet ramp. Ooh. Well, I guess we're going to play it. Doesn't really help us ramp into anything, but so oh, it's sure nice it to doesn't. see. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> it's nice. Would have been nicer last turn, but you know. Um, let's swing at Jake because he has a mana rock. Well, that's fair. I went first. Of course, I have the mana rock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I have some ramp too, but I think it's probably worse than. Your guys ramp. <laughs> what is Infect? this? <laughs> Plague Mirror Infect. Shun the Infect player. <laughs> so wait, do we only have ten Infect? Yep. It's oh, normal boy. That, yeah. That's honestly that's my only <laughs> Infect card, and it's there because it adds mana. I'm not an Infect deck. I did not know that card existed, which is you awesome. Pick any you get to attack some of the cover bits. Twenty-five green creatures for ramp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an I am I'm Glissa. I need artifacts. Yeah, it's an artifact. Yeah, Ooh, Sorrow of the Animist. Very good for it. landfall. Hmm. All right, another tap land. I'm gaining a life, going back up to forty. So take that. And I'm gonna play a chromatic lantern. Ooh. Lands I control have add one of any color, and it adds one of any color. It's like super mana mana fixing. Mana it is indeed. All right. Also pretty annoying on Magic Online because oh, all yeah. of your lands bring up the, all the mana symbols every time and you try to cast They don't something. even tap for one of five colors. They tap for their original colors and then the five underneath it. So you can have like seven abilities on a dual yeah. land. It's, it's insane. <laughs> Could you imagine it on a City of Brass? You probably have ten different <laughs> yep. mana symbols. <laughs> all right. Edric shows up and that means whenever anybody attacks one of my opponents um, and deals damage, they draw a card. So it helps everybody. It's like group hug. And I'm going to attack Richard. Wait, so who gets to draw? You get to draw. I get so to the, draw. Okay. The attacker gets to draw. Like, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> but if you attack with a creature against one of my opponents as well, then you also get to draw a card. Basically, Anybody who attacks anybody and deals damage draws a card unless you're attacking Tomer. Yeah. Except Tomer. It's a good incentive not to attack me. Green well, Gold Pillow Fort. <laughs> it's um, the best kind I of think... Pillow Fort. <laughs> I'm going to attack Jake so I can draw a card. <laughs> See, there I'm it is. Infected. <laughs> I'm infected. Now you're gonna I thought have to you keep... wanted to ramp. It was all a lie. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that sweet Phyrexian mana symbol there. Yeah, it's taking up half nice. my avatar. How, how horrible is that? She's that got, like, nice. a big green Phyrexian symbol on her head now. <laughs> um, then I think I'll play Icker Wellspring, which does nothing, but it draws me a card when it enters the battlefield. Neat. And Expedition Map. Also neat. Uh, very explosive plays here. Wait a minute. Oh, I can't equip other, other creatures? Well, that, that's useless. <laughs> why, would you, why would you? Why would you want to Tomer's creature so I can ramp myself? Ah, uh, tricky. That would be a next level play. Uh, yeah, learning how lot. to uh, use Moto. Um, this deck kind of sucks. Uh, I will pass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm at least like two turns behind everyone here. <laughs> well, you said that about the mill deck, and then who won that, right? That is true. Hmm, what shall I do? What shall I do? I got a lot of possible choices. I think what I have to do, though, Don't do is it. Le lead off with the turn four, everyone's favorite blue card, Bribery. I'm going to target Richard, because he's got a big stupid red and green deck, so I'm going to go get a big stupid creature. Yeah, no. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm kind of afraid... Of what I have the giant fatties are in this deck list, so you like know how dangerous this is. Uh, play a swap. I might have it open on the other screen. Yeah. <laughs> going to be very sad and pass the turn. There it is. All right, it's time to draw some cards. So I'm going to go swing. I think. Oh, there it is. 
two for Seth, and then one for Jake. As long as it's not infect damage, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Uh oh. No, I'm just tapping you out. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind then. We're not gonna have that uh whatever it is, the snake fog again. Spider fog. Spider, Spider fog. fog. There we go. I knew that sounded wrong. This is acceptable. It's not exciting. Actually I think we can we can shoot for better at this point. We'll get a Sylvan Safekeeper. So what he does is you can sacrifice a land to give a creature shroud until end of turn. And we'll pass the turn. Well, I guess I need to keep infecting people so I can draw <laughs> cards. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, this one's going at Richard, I believe, if I clicked properly. <laughs> Where does my infect there? Oh, it goes right over my avatar. This is terrible. <laughs> um, and now I think I will just play a forest and pass the turn. You could have a counter spell. Dash <laughs> 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 hopes. Yeah, it's like pay three life and then All right. counter Five. like a creature. I only have some action here. Ooh. Attempt to get two basic lands into play. Oh, they resolved. I will um, allow this. I, I kind of regret being the blue player again who has untapped lands. I really want to get a good use out of the F8. Scoured Barons, is that good? I will allow this. <laughs> <laughs> Making me a little nervous about you <laughs> allowing stuff and not allowing I might have anything. stifled the life gain, you never know. And I have no play. Ooh. All right. Time to draw some cards. Um, Etrick is pretty stupidly powerful. It's pretty good. <laughs> Sitting on six cards, about to draw another three. Yeah, it's pretty good. Draw my cards. All right. And we'll play some more little dudes. For drawing more cards? Eventually. <laughs> Scrib sprites. I remember this card. Just random dudes with evasion. That's about it. Alright, I actually have some trickiness at end of turn. I have a Shimmer Mirror, which has flash and gives all my artifact flash. Ooh. How exciting. And also, following up with <laughs> Elixir of Immortality. Oh, you better gave me against the build deck. <laughs> <laughs> I learned from that first week. <laughs> <laughs> the hate. Ooh. Oh, man. Well, we're definitely attacking. Uh, I think Richard, since he's tapped out. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's going to lose so in fact. I'm just calling it out now. <laughs> <laughs> One at a time. <laughs> Yes. Ooh, I put the triggers. Okay. Uh, yes, we'll draw a card. Ooh, wow, that is an excellent card in this situation. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> oh, you're gonna hate me, Tomer. Uh oh. Um. Well, anyway, uh, I guess I'm just gonna pass, and we'll uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to hate you, but you're going to pass. Well, hate me at instant speed. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Noted. So I have five, six mana. Uh, let's odd math cost seven. Don't really want to play them. Kind of want a creature so I can draw cards, but deck is not cooperating. <laughs> so we will play the Spires of Yamamaya. Yeah, but now when you have a creature, it'll have haste. The value. <laughs> the value. I have a very exciting play. I'm going to crack my Esper panorama that already taps for all five colors <laughs> to thin my deck. <laughs> okay. Well, mm -hmm. that doesn't help me either. <laughs> and I'll pass the turn and let you guys keep attacking me. Because it seems good. Okay. 
So, I could do this. I'm also afraid of what Seth's going to do. Don't attack me. <laughs> <laughs> is is that is that the It's a warning. Treaty? Yeah, yes, I will uh <laughs> I'll let you live if uh, you don't attack me. All right. For let the time live. being. What <laughs> For is the this? For the time being. <laughs> Is this like a flash massacre worm? I don't even know. Yeah, massacre worm is an artifact. That's totally a thing. <laughs> <laughs> there's this possibilities. I don't know. All right, I think this is the correct thing to do. Then I can follow it up with this. Draw a whole bunch of cards. And I still have this. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Casually going to pull up the cards in hand. <laughs> Oh, I don't have a reliquary tower, so it's not the best. Or an elixir of immortality. Hopefully, you'll just deck yourself. <laughs> it's happened in the past. Ooh. Oh, the value. Wow. Okay. I think I'll cast this. Notorious Throng. If you pay the Prowl cost, um, you put X11 Fairy Rogue tokens into play, um, equal to the amount of damage you dealt, and if the Prowl cost was paid, you take an extra turn. Uh... <laughs> so it's pretty good. <laughs> That's kind of scary. Uh... It resolves, huh? That changes my plans a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Treaty is over. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> it's alright, guys. He's going to be drawing 11 cards next turn. Nothing to be worried about. <laughs> alright, so I'll just pass the turn. Alright, but so you get another turn, correct? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, so before you go to your next turn, I am going to play Golgari Charm with the All Creatures Get Negative 1 mode. <laughs> my dream is to get it back my, with Glissa. My bribery got countered, and then my desertion had to steal a stupid one one. <laughs> uh, you could hit my Icker Wellspring if you want, Tomer. <laughs> yeah. For value. No, value. vengeance. My lantern? I have enough mana. Why don't you hit the flash thing so he stops shenanigans on the end steps? Uh, actually, yeah. that was probably a better idea, actually. This thing has infect, right? Does yeah, it? oops. No, no. No, they're, no what, what's wrong with infect? I thought there was a three to cast two to. It's dead now. There is. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, but there is like a functional reprint with, in fact. Jeez, you have so many 1-1s. One <laughs> Every horrible 1-1 one -one ever printed. <laughs> you got Snapcast uh, Grenade from the Glory Charm, right? You got I should have done this. Oh, well. Anywho, I'll pass the turn. All right. I'm going to flash in a Nile Spellbomb, no. just because I can. Hmm. I say you... uh. Then you activate Elixir and just mize Golgari Charm off the top. <laughs> that would be pretty sweet. <laughs> the, the old 1 in 83 shot or whatever it is. Should have done this. No. Uh, Tober has something he needs to protect his graveyard for. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Fair enough. Apparently he's got something going on with graveyard shenanigans. There's nothing. I don't know about I just didn't like that card. I just, I really don't like that artwork. I didn't want it to be in play. Sure, <laughs> sure. We all believe that. Um, I don't have very many lands that matter, I don't think. I guess I might as well take that one. All right, what do we get? Jeez, more nothing. Uh, well, I can still draw a card, right? Edric is still out there. Mm hmm. So, eh, I guess I'll hit Jake. Looks like a easy target. Hey, that's rude. <laughs> no more infect, though. So where's all this equipment you you uh, speak I, of? I have no idea. <laughs> um, man. All right, I don't want to do this, but I think I have to. So I'm gonna play a swamp, oh. and well, that wasn't <laughs> the thing I didn't want to do. <laughs> I, I'm all, I'm all right with that. Not the swamp. And then we're going to go with Black Sun Zenith X2. Oh. Nice. nice. Very nice. I just noticed Seth's lands here. I don't know what's going on <laughs> with these white bordered lands. You're trying to put us on tilt, Seth? I didn't even notice, and now I'm upset. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, at least know. at least the same same artwork. At least he did us that kindness. All right, here we go. Omnath. Omnath. I really, really wanted the same desertion for this Omnath. It was going to be awesome, but we just <laughs> couldn't let him get away with killing absolutely all of us in his next turn. Oh my God, Value Town. Value. I was just going to die. So there he is. <laughs> Wait, and look, you, the haste. But you, you killed the spy master. Yeah. <laughs> now what? Now you only get to do 10 damage. Boo-hoo. I wanted to draw two cards. Two cards is better than 10 damage. Well, I guess you have to attack Seth for destroying the spy master, right? I guess you have to attack the one person who hasn't been attacked yet this game, right? <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't realized anything. <laughs> or drawing all those cards. I just love value. Not a bad turn. It would have been better. <laughs> I'm just going to shuffle my graveyard back in with Elixir and tap myself out. Was that because you wanted cards in your graveyard or because you didn't want the Elixir sitting around? Eh. I just had two mana open and nothing to do with it. Hmm. What should I do? What should I do? I do need that Plague Mirror for my Infect kill, though, so... There is a reason. Well, if Tomer actually had the 2-2 Infect guy, you could have teamed up and killed someone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who wants to be my friend? I'm going to play Fact or Fiction main phase. See if I can't find an answer to this Omnath. So obviously I'm not selecting Richard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you good piles. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that. Who Who's making these piles? Oh, it's me. Tomer. Hello. Alright, so this destroys it. So that's neat. Um, it's pretty slow, but yeah, it's neat. Hmm. I don't think there's really any bad way to split this pile. Cyclonic Rift Acquire or Agitator Creek Terramorphic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cyclonic Rift is so good. It is so good. <laughs> but it's not doing anything for me right now, and people are going to kill me if they know it's coming, so I guess I'll choose the other pile. Good man. And then I'll play my Swamp. And I will cast Night Veil Spectre. It is a 2-3 flyer, so it blocks Omnath very well. <laughs> and I'll pass. Alright. So I guess it's commander time. Do, do, do. He's back. And... Let us also play a ranger. Flash flying protection from blue. What? When you, you return a force, you control to its owner's hand, untap target creature. It's actually pretty nice if you miss a land drop and you have like a mana dork in play. You can untap the mana dork, replay the land. A little bit of a combo. And I'll pass the turn. Oh my god. More lands. No. Uh, Alright. Well, since we don't have anything else going on, if I can figure out where my commander is... There we go. (laughs) We're going to cast... It's uh, green, 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 black, not green, black, black. Oh, 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 oh. I was thinking it was just green, black, colorless. I wasn't paying enough attention. Alright, so we'll cast the Glissa. This is a great blocker, too. Look at that. Yeah. First strike. A little bit of defense against Omnath, maybe. And then, bounce mm-hmm. land. And, ship the turn. Alright, Tomer has two mana up. Blue, blue, conveniently. But if you don't <laughs> attack me, you draw cards. <laughs> I don't want to attack you, but I don't want you to counter my spells. Well, hmm. Hmm. don't make me counter those spells. I mean, just cast your spells main phase. Your creatures have haste anyway. And then you'll know before you attack whether or not he's countering your spell. I mean, I could probably just kill Jake. He's tapped out. Uh, <laughs> objection? <laughs> I'll allow this. What should I do? What should I do? Oh, I didn't notice Scrub Ranger has right, haste. I'll, 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 flash. I'll play it safe. I'll play it safe. Ooh. You're going to sack your general in the 5-5? Five five? <laughs> <laughs> I bought way too many copies of that enchantment. It didn't work out. 
Ooh, landfall. Now, would you call Sword of the Animist a combo with Omnath? Synergy? No. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, oh. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> I'm attacking you. <laughs> I think I need to get rid of this anyway. I'm going to cross and grip the fires of Yavmaya. Ooh, oh, not the there. sword? I guess uh, they're both they're both okay. Maybe the sword is better. I was about to make another another token with uh the sword. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of worried that he'll just kill everyone out of nowhere with some big like put a multiple lands into play spell. I feel like Why that's probably going to happen. Cards like that. <laughs> Why would I have cards like that? <laughs> uh, probably going to have to use this at some point. Can someone so I, not so I can bolt someone to death? <laughs> oh dear. I want to keep this Night Veil Spectre around to steal someone's card, so I'm going to hold it. And I'm going to take 10 or 11. 11 down to 23. And oh, everybody yes. gets to draw cards. Hooray! Spy Master is so good. <laughs> Point of order, I have not gotten to draw cards yet. Oh, well, you will I'm, now. I'm, I'm very sad about it, too. Okay, that's a decent draw. I want to go straight to good. Well, you have a pro blue flyer, so I think I'll be attacking Seth or Richard. You want to attack the guy whose cards you can play, right? I want to attack the person who <laughs> just attacked me. I can still play your colorless <laughs> cards in your lands. But yeah, I probably should have tried to get Seth for a damnation or something. But if he draws a damnation on top of his deck, he's just going to cast it anyway. So that is true. I don't have to. I don't have to. I guess that digs too deep if if it's too down. But whatever. I will draw a card, and I will exile the top card of Richard's library. Let's just look for all his dust. What was it? Four, what was it? Seven, Crop rotation. Eight, nine. I cannot generate green mana. So. <laughs> so I can notice, um, where do you even do see that. the card? It went to your side of the battlefield because oh, the it's under the sword like for that. some reason. Okay. Yeah. And then what do I have? I have seven mana. Okay. So I guess I'll start with this. It only deals with a very small part of the problem, but I'm kind of consuming vapors, targeting Richard. You stack a creature, you gain life. I gain life equal to its toughness, and then it has rebound, so it's coming back next turn. Ooh. Mm. Some a little bit of the of the bleeding. Uh, what should I bolt? Hmm. Well, I guess I can't bolt. If I bolt, Edric, Glissa, me, or the what is it called? Night Vale Spectre. They're all three toughness. I guess no. Edric is two toughness, but under three toughness. Uh -oh, bolt no. <laughs> so My plans. Yet. My great plans. I will play a Daxos of Miletus. Miletus, however you want to pronounce it. And I will play a the happier Daxos. I will crack it and thin my deck some more value, <laughs> and pass the turn. Ugh. So how much does need your cost? Ugh, seven. I want to do this. Hmm. I will just pass the turn. I have uh -oh. no plays. <laughs> uh oh. I'm not telegraphing anything. Hmm. Uh, what to do? Well, I think I gotta play Reliquary Tower. Because I'm a little nervous about all Tomer's untapped mana. Pay no attention I think... to that. <laughs> <laughs> I would be surprised if you bothered to counter one of my <clears throat> bad spells. So we're just going to go with Genesis Wave X5. Ooh. Ooh. See if we can find some equipment. That's so a you good get spell. All permanence five or less. Not sure I've ever seen a smaller Genesis wave, but hey, you're still <laughs> getting what, two lands and a uh, enchantment from us, so that's not bad. What does lure do? Everyone that must block. Cool. So you can kill a. Basically, he can kill any of our untapped blockers, depending on who he attacks. If he attacks. That was like my favorite card when I started playing Magic. There was a green creature called a Basilisk, which had basically death touch whenever it dealt combat damage the target would die. So the combo was putting lure on it. <clears throat> this was like Ice Age. 
Ice Age combos. And White Border, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so can I attack, though, is the question. If I attack, then I get hit back for, like, 40 from Richard. Um, I'll I think let I you just... attack. I won't, I won't attack you. Oh, wow. well, too, too late. late. Too late. Too late. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, wait. I forgot to put a stop. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that was me, too. Uh... Wait, so what? You were going to cast something at the end of Seth's turn? So no. You... <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, Richard. What does this guy try to do? Who do I attack? I don't want to attack anyone. We try to force Tober's hand and make him play what he's going to play? No. I don't know what you're talking about. If you don't attack me, I can consume in Vapor Blitza instead of you. That's all I have to offer right now. Alright, I'll attack Tober here. I want... I gotta get those cards out of his hand. I might have just F6 by accident. You never know. And everyone knows F3 doesn't exist on a keyboard. Plus, <laughs> this is the only turn I can attack him. Once he plays Spy Master, I won't want to attack him anymore. Yeah. Oh, I just play that poorly. I just let you have another trigger. I have no idea what he has right now. Oh, you do. I really don't. I just should have played it there, earlier. If it's Cyclonic <laughs> Rift, it, the, the triggers don't matter. The tokens... The, no, uh, oh. I gave Richard another land, though. Oh, oh wait, I should have sacked all my dudes. Yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, yeah, I wanted that to happen. Yeah. Uh, two, how much mana do I have here? Five, six, seven, eight, nine? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yes. I will cast this. What is nine mana? I'm just casting my guy again. Uh oh, in floating two? Oh, I guess Evo Leap. There you go. I love it when people forget about rebound spells. It's like Christmas for me. Here comes consuming papers on my turn. <laughs> I discard. Well, where, where would you even see? Ah, oh, yeah, it's in the, the best part about it is when people forget about it in a two-player game. I'm like, I just took my turn and cast this, and then they'll cast like one creature and pass, and then I'll take it off of rebound and they'll concede just because they're so. <laughs> it's great. I totally <laughs> forgot about it too. Don't do it. It's hidden from the graveyard. What do you mean not do it? <laughs> just let it on that list. That would be the stupidest thing ever. So yeah, I'm gonna consume me vapors. I'm gonna gain five more life. And almost undo the damage that he did by attacking me. All right, that's an interesting draw. I don't think it does anything. Does it? Hmm. Yeah, no, that does nothing. So I can replay my mana rock. That's probably the best play. So yeah, I'll start with the signet. I'll cast this Ether Sworn Educator that I got off the Factor Fiction about six years ago. Play a tap land and pass a turn. So what does this thing do? Destroy target creature nice. or enchantments? Yep, for three mana, and then I can untap it for three for two. Oh, gross. Is it's there a beast within in this deck? <laughs> Is, where's my green removal? Eh, maybe. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if I hit an island. Edric has cleared the way. Well, Cyclonic Rift has cleared the way for Edric. Go, go, Ranger. Who has the highest? Ah, oh, yeah. One damage just happened. Come on. Yep. Back all the way down to his starting life total? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Come on, island. No. All right. Spire Tracer. <laughs> what Where one did you find these? <laughs> <laughs> Even Jake here. Martyr of Frost. <laughs> Martyr of Frost? God. <laughs> the value. They all draw cards each turn. So good. Wait, are you tapped out? A little bit. All, right. all the blue guys are tapped out. Here we go. Come on, Seth. We can do uh -oh. it. Let's kill all the blue players. I have, I have a single blue mana. I could have a spell pierce. You don't know. If you wrap the board, I'm gonna counter it. If you do anything that gets rid of Edric, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it go. That's for sure. If you do that, I'm gonna cry. You don't want me to cry. 
I mean, you're uh, still that bad. You have an untapped land. I'm pretty sure you can cast Edric again. That's the most explosive play, Icar Wellspring. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, all right. That helps. All right, so now I can play my Glissa. I can play a Skull Clamp. Ooh. Equip it up. Now, and... just because you're, you're somewhat new to Commander, I just want to remind you and the viewers, if you replace the act of your Commander dying with going to the Command Zone, <laughs> you get zero death triggers. So if you have like a way to get her back from the graveyard, then sure, let her die, get your skull camp triggers and whatnot, but it will not work if you use the replacement effect. Yeah, good, good to... Reminder. Yes, thank you. And last but not least, Strata Scythe. So I can search my library for a basic and imprint it, which will be a swamp. And then when I equip it, equip creature gets plus one, plus one for each land on the battlefield with the same name as the exiled card. Which is five at the moment, it looks like. Two plus three. Uh, yes, I believe so. That's cool. Does that work with Urborg? Does it turn everything into a swamp and... No, it's the same sorry. name. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, it does. Oh, it's no, I don't know. It just changes types. It doesn't okay. change the name of things. Hmm... Would it work with something like a uh, Song of the Dryads, or does that not change name either? Does that, that just change becomes, the type? That becomes a forest, I believe. Song of the Dryad actually makes it a forest, so I think it would count. Uh, Once well, again, a forest is a type as well as a name, though. I'm not really sure which one it it does, or if it does both. Let me check. That's a good question. <clears throat> How much commander damage do I need to take before I die? <laughs> 21. 21 from a single commander. 21 from a single commander, huh? Okay. Well, I'm just going to cast this. Uh-oh. Ah, Song of the Dried would not activate the side because its name remains unchanged. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Ooh. Is there anything that changes the name of a spell besides, like, playing a clone and changing it to the name of something? I do not know. Hmm. So I'm playing Animus Awakening. Uh, reveal the top X cards. And you I'm got two? Looks I like don't know what happened. You, reveal <laughs> <laughs> you revealed a mountain and a mountain. But they did come into play. Oh, well, mode will fail. <laughs> <laughs> Hit okay too soon? I think I know what happened. I think it shows in the revealed window and you gotta click them into play. But I just did nothing and pressed okay because I thought it was waiting for you guys to respond. No, but it's not even a May effect. It has to go into play. But I can't play them. That is weird. Ah, uh, Bladeworth. <laughs> the magic of Moto. Wait, how many tap fours do you have? Six? Six. Plus... No, no, it did it. Because you cast it for seven and you have ten tap lands now. But why do I have two mountains? Oh, okay, it revealed them. It revealed two mountains and put it in play tap. It worked. It did it automatically. Worked. It's really good when Omnath is already in play because that's a lot of landfall triggers. Yeah, but you guys just can kill Omnath. I gotta get some land to get going. Okay, what to do, what to do. So I have free reign with this Aether Sworn Educator. And I have nine mana, which is enough to kill, untap, kill, or attack, draw a card, untap, kill. I'm probably gonna be getting rid of that Edric, because otherwise you're drawing four cards by attacking Aww, Richard. But he's died so many times. But if you promise to attack Richard, I could leave up the kill spell and not only use it if you attack me. So that's a thing I could do. Why are you killing me? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I thought we were friends. You have a very scary general, and because you attacked me for 15. <laughs> but you healed back up and killed my guy. I back <laughs> it just like it never happened. All right, let's see. I also have cards in my hand I could use. All right, I think I'm going to start off by attacking Richard. Because value. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to correctly look at the names this time so I don't randomly attack someone I don't need to attack. Trigger. Yes, I will use Edric's ability. Oh, that's a card right there. That is a card. Hmm. But it's an awkward mana cost. Okay, so I think I'm just going to start off by casting... No? No, I'll just pass. I'll just leave up Ether's One Educator. Activations. Mm -hmm. 
So how many times can you activate it? Cost you six. Basically, it'll cost me two Nine to tap two. it, One, and then three, it'll cost me three to tap it again. But then I'll be done. I would need twelve to be able to untap, use it, untap, use it. So if I don't attack you, you're not going to kill Edric here. Um, I, I will definitely kill it if you do attack me. I think I'm going to let you draw the cards though if you attack someone else. Interesting. That's a lot of cards to let him draw, Jake. <laughs> I know, but I also want Richard to take damage because I'm really scared of Omnath, and there's probably some pretty explosive plays in that deck. What? I'll spread the love. I'll spread the love a little bit. This is your baby deck, Tober. It has to win. <laughs> Otherwise, your status as a deck builder will be questioned. I have a lot of baby <laughs> decks, though. This is also, the Edric deck is also from an article, so I can't lose. Well... I can't lose. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to let this happen. Excellent. I'm not working on anything nefarious at all. Doo -doo. Would I like to use it? Yep. Draw a card. Draw a card. Draw a card. Well, I guess I'll draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, this is interesting. Is the interesting thing that you just drew four cards? <laughs> that, was, that, was, that, that piqued my interest. Um, let me just do this. See if that resolves. Oh, <laughs> uh, extra turn spells. Everyone loves them. I didn't know there was a They're time pretty off. cool. Um, let's, uh, what else do we want to cast? Let's cast this fun card as well. Oh god, no. <laughs> do, do, do. Uh, I think you need to kill some stuff. <laughs> okay, so stealing people's stuff, I love to do it, and I actually have a really cool way to do it right now. Oh no. So I have a memory plunder in hand. So I'm going to cast it targeting capture Jing Zhao, and I'm going to take an extra turn after this one. And then Tomer will take an extra turn, and then it will continue. That makes yes, sense. I would like to cast it. Thank you very much. Okay. You do get the profit of traffic, though. Hooray. Okay. So it's going to be your turn. It is indeed. And now I have some more, some more plans again. What shall I do? Well, first of all, I'm definitely attacking. You've got a pro blue flyer, so I'm not attacking you. Oh, let's, uh, let's attack Richard again. That's not really getting old yet. <laughs> <laughs> Draw a card from Edric. Yes. Okay. And now we're going to play a really fun game that I like to call Do I leave up Ether Swim Educator or not? <laughs> See, I got nine mana. I'm going to play this Signet, and I'll leave you the same deal as last time. I'll blow hmm. up Edric on your attack step if you attack me, otherwise you can have free reign. Play another dude. Ooh, Skull, Skull Ring's already on the field, what are you going to get? The other best artifact. Skull Clamp, very nice. Hmm. Mm hmm. Let's see here. I guess I'll attack with stuff. The good thing about letting you draw cards is you don't have a reliquary tower, so it really only helps up to a certain point. Once you already have like a great six cards in your hand, giving you another six is just it's not gonna be the death of anyone, I don't think. Except for maybe other players, that would be great. You might get your wish there. So many cards. <laughs> <laughs> Just a few. Yeah, he's gonna, be... he's gonna take another turn after he draws all these cards. <laughs> no. I don't know why you're letting him do this, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> if he has a third extra turn in his deck and it's in the top half of his deck, then I'll be very surprised. I really need to always yield to this trigger, so I have to do, keep on clicking. Do, okay. do, do, do. Um, -um. 
All right. Richard is sitting at a comfortable 12 life points. So what I'm going to do... <laughs> is... Cast for growth. Targeting... Notorious oh, Strong. God. Oh, God. No. Thanks for all the cards, by the way. And I think I'm going to cast it. We need a name this week. Tomer plays magic. <laughs> <laughs> and no one else does. And... Mm, what do I want to do next? I guess I'll just play the Stalker. Oh, God. <laughs> and Elvish Mystic, why not? All right, that was a good turn. <laughs> <laughs> so discard that. Discard that. Ooh. So yeah. capture of Jing Zhao, That's like a quarter of your budget already, right? It's like five bucks for all the good extra turn cards. No, it was like uh, one ticket online. Really? Yeah. I think the, the Tower of Deck is getting a new edition. Then. I think the I think the deck was about like. 11 tickets total. Nice. Oh, and you're going to hate me now. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. We're going to hate you now on your fifth extra turn, not on your third one? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Doo -doo. Cast his face down. What could it be? Do 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 do. Is there a time walk more? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the, the countering engine thing, right? How many cards can you draw? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, do it like that. 17? Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> what the crap is this? And then, for my final act... I think we might all just be dead. Yep. Just pass your turn. Wait, he didn't even attack. No, that's that was one of my other turns. <laughs> oh, oh, turn oh. Have left. <laughs> yeah, 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 I missed, I messed that up. But that's all good because I have this now. Oh God! <laughs> all the <infect laughs> So somebody's gonna die to infect, unless Jake has Everyone counters. Everyone die to infect. Pretty much. I'm not saying what I have, but I'm not dying to infect. You can kill them with infect. You've broken. Oh, them. really? All the cards are like messed up now. <laughs> do, do. That's three, four. Is this your I thought you draw all those cards. Why are you attacking me first? Well, I'm attacking everybody. Don't worry. This is insane. <laughs> I'm spreading the love. I don't feel loved. I feel like I'm going to die. Psychotic Rift. Eyes. <laughs> I think that spider was correct. Fog, spider fog will work. One more to Jake. All right. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, did I miss a fairy? Dang it. Five, six, seven. That's what I got. Oh, God. All right. Well, I'm going to assume it's lethal. It's potentially lethal. I guess lethal. I'll start by untapping this Ether Swan Educator. It's right. not gonna, but is, I'm this the, is this your big play, Jake? <laughs> I have a big play. I was lying the entire time. Well, I guess I might as well block. Oh, <laughs> I, who's even attacking me? I don't think it matters, but... I might have... I didn't really do the math. I just kind of assigned, so... <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it matters. I think I you're think way so. over... And I'll blow up a creature, because I can. Do, do, do. <laughs> Kill Glissa. Let's <laughs> you draw two cards. <laughs> and let's Blind see if math is right and we're all dead. Should be. Well, that was... Uh -huh. That no, was a no, game that was first strike. Got uh, yeah, back my steel health kite. Oh. oh. What? Someone's, someone's alive. I didn't no. kill Seth. Seth is alive. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, well, the best part is Black Sun Zenith. <laughs> but you can't do anything with nine infect because that was a sorcery that granted infect. So unless he can get that back to his hand. Yeah, I don't have any infect creatures in this deck that I know of. 
And you might draw yourself to death. So Seth, just want to take it away? No, uh, well, <laughs> Tomer gets to get all his cards, which he'll take another time walk. Mm. <laughs> Seems likely. The worst part of this is Edric is a May, so he can't even deck himself. But you know I'm greedy, so I'm just going to draw everything. <laughs> Zero cards left. Draw one anyway. I'll just play this one. And... Ooh, I actually should have not done it that like, like that. Oh, well. I can't even see what you're playing. Ah, it doesn't matter. Another 1-1 one, one flyer and another 1-1 one, one flyer. Let's, uh... Let's kill that, because why not? The funny thing is, if you somehow had nothing, I could have almost wrathed your board because you would have had to untap to your profit, and I could have lured up my Glissa and killed, like, all your creatures. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, you still have to do... One, uh, you have to do one damage to everything. All right, we're good. Yeah, yeah with the Stratus, I, I guess I could have killed, like, eight or nine creatures, so something yeah. like that. Wait, what? Seth, actually, you have a turn. <laughs> I didn't kill him. <laughs> uh, all right, so <laughs> what do I do now? Can I live another turn somehow? I don't I, don't I find have it idea. unlikely. Now, one attack is not going to kill you unless he has something additional. He's got about 20 creatures and they're all about one power. Well, I guess I can draw some cards. Maybe I can draw something. All right, we're going to go with Masterwork of Ingenuity. Sure. Which can clone an equipment. It's going to clone my skull clamp. We're going to equip this ape up with double skull clamp. <laughs> Then we are going to put a lure on this ape. Oh. Huh. That would kill a lot of my dudes. And draw me some cards. I'm going to go like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Fair enough. And he has the counter spell after all that. That's That's kill I drew so though, many right? cards. <laughs> Well, I guess my last hope is that I somehow live and get to attack with the Steel <laughs> Hellkite. You can activate that multiple times? Yeah, sure. No, once per turn. But still, everything's a one drop, so once per turn is pretty good against... I'm going to blow that up, yeah. too. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> I, I guess when you draw so 75 cards. cards, you tend to have a lot of answers. All right. Um, can I go aggro? Yeah, let's attack. Why not? Sure. If you want to block, that's fine. Preferable even. Oh, I didn't know this was one toughness. Whoops. Ah, that's oh. fine. Alright, so triple Simeon Spirit Guide. Uh, <laughs> Lion's <laughs> Eye Diamond. Uh, <laughs> it's only 11 tickets. It's such value. Well, I drew a lot of cards. There's a lot of value in that it's only 11 tickets, but you have to factor in the cost of, like, you know, every all your friends hating you after you play this deck. <laughs> I know. This is a one-time thing. Um, no, nice. actually, if I if I could play this deck, I totally would. I, I think it's pretty awesome. Just oh, gonna... wait. Now, now that I know that this is uh, allowed, wait till you see what I show up with. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> the power creep starts. <laughs> you, you guys are not casting any spells. Oh, no. <laughs> I actually played against a really fun uh, stack stack in EDH recently. It was had, had Marin at the helm. It was insane. I did not win. So Tomer has 38 cards left in his library. <laughs> He's going to draw 20 of them. So we allowed him to draw 50 cards this game. <laughs> right click stack abilities automatically, Tomer. Oh. How? I would Right click and then click stack abilities automatically. No, right click the screen, not one of the triggers. Oh, sweet. Basically, whenever you have identical abilities, they'll be put on the stack in whatever order. So if they're not gonna... identical in some way, you still have to stack them. I was going to say yes to all of this. Oh, there's a kill condition. <laughs> oh, hooray. <laughs> Wait. Yay, Seth didn't die from that me. attack. 
How, how many creatures are there here? <laughs> <laughs> Only They're about all one ones. <laughs> all right, I'll start saying no. For fear of decking myself. Ah, I played a land already. All right, here's my one condition. The twelfth extra turn. Oh, Beastmaster. Oh, I can't take another turn. Oh God. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Wait, well, I, I thought they exiled themselves. Hey. <laughs> Temple there is does. It? Or, Where is it? There uh, it is. Trespass does. But capture of Jing Zhao does not. <laughs> the fun never ends. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm dead now. Yeah, you're dead. Especially with Beastmaster Ascension. Everything gets, what, plus five? Plus five? Yeah, yeah. he only needs, like, three that's... creatures to kill you. Yeah, and that's... he's taking the... Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Wait, how much is Moto going to work? Does it show <laughs> this negative life? <laughs> it should. It's going to be several hundred. All right, for science, how much damage is this? <laughs> the, the funny part is, if Edric was non-mandatory, and if it triggered on like attacks, not damage, it would be enough to deck you out. It's pretty good. It's I'm guessing new cards. All right, it's got 300, I think. <laughs> Round 300 is my guess. I don't know, Bodo's taking a while. I'm pressing yes. OK. <laughs> I have a chance. <laughs> Tomer's gonna time out 16 minutes from now. Come on, Moto, you can do this. About stack abilities automatically, he probably would. Oh, there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they don't. Doesn't even fit on the screen. <laughs> oh my god. I did. I did stack automatically, but now it's taking a while. <laughs> Come on, Moto, you can do it. <laughs> stack it. Testing the limits of Magic Online right here. So do you think you're going to get the requisite seven counters on the Beastmaster set? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping. Oh. Oh, it is already stacked. Oh. Okay, never mind. And it's a May, so I think you actually have to choose yes. There's oh, no God. always yes option? Uh, well, I can just start saying, oh, I have to say yes or no, so I have to click through it anyway. All right. <laughs> you got 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm clicking as fast as I can. I think you're gonna make it. Uh. <laughs> Both heads. The end of the tunnel draws near. Need more 37, counters. 38, 39. Need more 40 counters. counters. 41. I wish it stacked, like, for each right. seven quest counters, creatures you control get plus five, plus five. That'd be insane. All right. How much damage? They're all just six sixes and such. <laughs> At least I can block. All right. Negative 241. <laughs> Negative 241. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. All right. Well, then. <laughs> very nice, very nice. So I might have underestimated how strong Edric is in general. Um, but that is proof that weenies do win sometimes. When you have 50 of them, <laughs> <laughs> when, one one draw, like <laughs> when you draw more than half your deck, then yeah, good things happen. Any closing thoughts on your, your guys' decks? Uh, everyone is deathly afraid of my commander and kills me <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think I attacked with like a bunch of Omnath tokens and Omnath ones due to haste and <laughs> like that was it. Yeah, what well, about the value of haste though, right? You got to attack that one time. Yep. Yeah, I I think I like Omnath, but if I want to play Gruul uh, Smash, I think Xenagos God of Revels is way better just because of that, like you get a lot of hate, but Xenagos is an indestructible enchantment, so he's very difficult to remove. So at the very least, Xenagos is going to stay on the battlefield. You don't have to worry about recasting him, and then you just play other fatties. And yeah, the fatties will die, but they all have face anyway, so they get some value out of them. Omnath just suffers from the fact that he's so vulnerable to removal. And he costs so much. What is he, like six mana? Seven mana? Seven mana. Seven mana, yeah. So even with all the ramp, it's still going to be difficult for you to keep recasting him over and over again. I don't know. I, I like Omnath a lot. I like the fact that when you cast him, 
you have priority, so you can trigger him at least once before he gets, you know, killed with a removal spell. I like that you can put as much ramp into your deck as you want, but yeah, he is he is quite squ- scary, especially when you have something like a Fires of Yavin Lai on the field. People know not to ignore it, so that yeah. is a downside. It's also, if you were allowed to have Omnath on the board and then untap with him, you probably won the game. That is actually true. I could have killed everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's like EDH is just weird like that. Um, if you had a turn, you probably would have won. If I have a turn to draw a billion cards, so I'm going to win. That's just how it is. I needed the blue players to like tap out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like waiting for that opportunity. I think it happened like one time. And then, yeah, you got stuff done. So I, I like my deck. It's not nearly as explosively powerful as Edric or Omnath is, but it did what it was supposed to do. I, I got to interact a little bit. I got the consuming vapors to keep myself alive. I got the counter and important spell stutter sprite to help manage Tomer's board. Uh, I got to take an extra turn, not that I did much with it. So I, I really do like the deck. I didn't get to a couple of the, of the spicier cards, the more expensive steal everything cards that are in there. But uh, I think it's good. It's just you, you can't expect to win quickly with like a, a Triumph of the Hordes or, you know, six elemental tokens and a Fires of Yavimai. You kind of have to stick it out for the long game. and Or, you know, hope somebody doesn't counter your turn four bribery. That would have been really helpful. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what's in that deck, but I imagine that would have been good. I honestly but, uh, didn't remember when I, when I countered it. I was just afraid. I think justifiably, I'm probably, there's probably like oh, yeah. something that's huge in there. Definitely. But uh, yeah, overall, I liked it. I didn't. I, I was not surprised that I did not win quickly and before other people because the deck's not really built to do that. But mm-hmm. anywho, I like that it scales really well uh, depending on the meta game because you're relying so much on stealing other people's abilities that if you're in like a more competitive environment, you're going to be stealing better quality creatures. But in a more casual one, you're just going to be stealing like equal power level creatures. So I like how it kind of balances itself out no matter what. Yeah, absolutely. If you, if you go turn five and you, you bribery someone and, and you get out of Blightsteel Colossus, they can't be like, oh my goodness, you'd be like, oh, well, you put yeah. Blightsteel in your deck. It's in your Obviously deck. you want to kill someone in one turn. So, Or if you go get like a profit and you just see people glare at you, are like, well, it's your profit, it's not mine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I felt like, I like Lissa, and I don't know if I... The deck I played is built quite the way I would like. I feel like I was really lacking in top end plays. I have like Glissa and some other cheap creatures and then a bunch of relatively cheap equipment. So I felt like I didn't have much to do once I got a bunch of mana on the battlefield. So I'm not sure if that's just a bad deck building or I maybe I could have played differently, but so I think Glissa's cool, but I'm not exactly happy with how my deck played tonight. Hmm. Yeah, I, my favorite deck that I have built is Glissa, and it's, it's somewhat differently than yours. I think I cut my last piece of equipment. I had Dark Steel Plate for a while to give it indestructible, but even that was underperforming a little bit. I think I have zero equipment, but I found that it's much better in 1v1 than it is in 4-player, because in 4-player, for Glissa to get value, you have to first keep her around, so have like a, a Dark Steel Plate or something to keep her alive through board wipes, and just have a ton of board wipes, and keep resetting the board and getting value. And then somehow not getting people ticked off enough at you to let you stay alive. <laughs> I mean, you do have Glissa for blocking, so that's excellent. One Glissa untapped can like stop all three of your opponents from attacking you on the ground, which is pretty incredible. But although she's valuable and you can get value from her triggers, I don't think she scales as well to four players as some of the other generals do. So I, I like her, but I, I'm, I'm hesitant to try to bring her out a four player without some tweaking. Yeah, I think that seems like a a good way of describing it. I just, I felt a little, I guess, overwhelmed at times. Like, my deck just wasn't as powerful as people that are playing Omnath or taking four turns in a row or stealing everyone's stuff. And I'm like, oh, I'll put a Skull Clamp on my 3-2 or (laughs) 3-3. So I felt like I was just a little uh, underpowered uh, the way the deck was built compared to what was happening at the rest of the table. But I still had fun playing it, and I still think uh, that she's a really cool card and fun to play with. Anyway, that is all for today with our initial episode of Commander Clash here on mtggoldfish.com. Like I said in the intro, make sure to leave any feedback in the comments. We want to do everything we can to make this uh, as sweet as possible and as enjoyable to watch as possible. Also, I'm sure you might have noticed there was a slight video error towards the beginning of the match uh, on the turn where 
I cast a Gold Gary Charm, and there was a Spell Center Sprite from Tomer. Uh, there was a video crash there, so we actually lost part of that turn. But basically what happened is Jake cast a Desertion, which basically takes control of a target spell on the Spell Center Sprite, so it went onto the battlefield under his control, and he didn't have enough fairies to counter the Golgari charm, so it did end up wiping away the board, and then that is where the video picked back up. So hopefully we won't have any problems like that again, still uh, getting used to recording these long four-player matches. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Make sure to check out mtggoldfish.com, dex prices, the metagame strategy, basically everything and anything you could want related to Magic the Gathering. And if you enjoyed the video, click that subscribe button that's going to pop up on the bottom of your screen. Keeps you up to date on the latest and greatest in MTG Goldfish videos. And it's a big favor for us, so we'd appreciate it. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I will talk to you soon.